warm welcome from Vapor Cars here. Um, we are British, British based, shall yeah. we say? British? Yeah. Well, no, no. Well, we're English. Liverpool. Liverpool. Excuse the Liverpool accent if you can't understand us, just put it in the comments. It's also known as Scouse. Also known as Scouse. Um, yeah. So, all we're going to talk about today, uh, this is our first video, so please be gentle with the comments. <laughs> yeah. um, well, you can go a little bit hard, but not too much. Don't, don't not enough to make him shy. Yeah. Jesus. Right, yeah, so today, for our first video, we're just going to be chatting about how we've got into vaping and what kit we're using at the moment. We've also got a little bit of news at the we've end. We've got a little bit of news Really important the news. Um, so, yeah, let's get started. How did you get into vaping there? Morgan. So, I but got into oh, yeah, 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 yourself. I'm Jason, this is Morgan. Okay, you can find us on Twitter um, at, at VapeGuysUK. So, okay. We so, also have our personal ones, but... Um, our personal ones will be in the link yeah. below. Please subscribe, by the way, just below here. Um, um, also leave comments, but we're meant to do that at the end, so we'll do that at the end. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll do, do that at the end okay. as well. Right, okay. let's go. So, I got into vaping on the 3rd of April. I remember that day Pacific very well. Much. Pacific, very Pacific. Yeah. Not the Pacific Ocean, just very specific. Specific. <laughs> specific. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, so, JC went away on the 1st of April. He went to Magaluf for a month to go working. And I was trying to find stuff to do with myself. So I went to go and visit my uncle. I do visit him quite often, but I thought, oh, I'll go again today. So I went on the 3rd. And during that time, I was smoking. I was smoking. Not, I wasn't smoking much. I was sending up, smoking about 10 a day, I reckon. And um, so I went in, put them on the table, lighter next to it, like that. And I got a look of disgust. And it was more of a look of, what are you doing with your life? And obviously, my uncle had smoked. He was a 25, 30 a day man um, a few years ago, say about 10 years ago. Um, so six years ago, he started vaping. He got all the Chinese imports, so he got all the cheap batteries, all the cheap atomizers, all the cheap tanks, and like all the all of these vapes leaked. So when you were vaping on them, um, they'd leak in your mouth. They'd go all down your shirt, wreck your shirt. And ever since then, it's just started to develop into this huge market. And um, so. I sat down on the couch and I was chatting and that, and he went, oh yeah, try this, and he gave me a, a it was a Vamo V6 with a, a Kangatech giant on it, and it was some sort of cherry flavour, I can't remember off the top of my head which one it was, and he went, yeah, I'll try that, and so I tried it, and I was like, oh, this is horrible, this, this is really, and I just kept on going on it, just sitting there vaping. And at the end of the day, I went, I want you to order me one. I say at the end of the day, I mean, about an hour later, I went, I want you to order me one. And I gave him £30, and I went back five days later, and he handed me this nice little parcel, and it had in it a... a GS Ego Twist 2. So it was a variable voltage. It also had a Kangatech Aero Tank 2 or 3. One of them, um, only the two and a half mil one, and I bought the flavour in, and I went to oh, try that. So I sat with it in work, and I was sitting there vaping, and the boss was like, "Oh, it's fine, yeah, it's legal, it's fine, don't worry." And yeah, that's how I got into vaping. So it was quite an easy ride for me because I had somebody to support me. Um, same with you, really, didn't you? You had someone to support you. I don't know who. I'm with well. That is, that is actually really true, yeah. Um, what it was, is, as I explained you said before, I went to Magaluf for a month to work, and in that space of time, I smoked before I went to Magaluf, I smoked about 20 every three or two days, or two to three days. But when I went to Magaluf, I, I rocked it up to 50 a day, about 50 a day for a month. You can imagine that. On cheap ciggies as well. On cheaper ciggies, so they really they wreck your throat. So, um, when I, I was FaceTiming my best mate, um, Morgan here, every single day. Best so, friend. Best friend, yeah. So um, he was saying, Dave, why don't you just get one of these and try it? So I was just like, I looked, I looked in the city shops and all that over there, the tobacconists, 
And I looked and the Tobacconists. Uh, tobacconists, that's what What's a tobacconist? Are. The people who sell tobacco. Oh right. Um, <laughs> my back on of apron. Um, yeah, and he said, No, you don't really want to get into them. So I was just like, Alright, well, alright, I'll take your word for it. So I did the took his word for it. And then I got back home after a month and um what day did you specifically get back? I got you back. come back on my birthday. Your so birthday. the 29th of April you got 20, I got back on the 29th of April. Met you at the airport. And you met me in the airport, yeah. And um, what it was, so I had to go with this. And I was like, fuck, I was coughing every time. And it was just terrible. So I was like, no, I'm never getting into this. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And then I got... I kept got, shouting at him. Yeah, he kept shouting at me. And I got one myself then. Just a little cheap one, just like this. Just a little cheap one here, like that. Right, and um, so I got into it a little bit then. I got a 24 milligram, so it was getting me nicotine heat hit without oh. all them um, other chemicals going into my body. Your formaldehyde gear. Yeah, all, yeah, all, all them. Arsenic. Yeah. You like arse. So, uh, arsenic. Sorry. So then I got into it, and then over a period, over about a week, two weeks, I felt so much healthier. And it just, I got into it, and then now it's just such a hobby. I've touched about nine to ten cigarettes. Well, that was only when we went to town and we didn't want to take our expensive vapes. Yeah, so I got into it like that. It's now a hobby, so it's it's been absolutely fantastic. Felt feel really healthy about it. It's so much a hobby now. The one thing you can't do though is count how much you've actually spent because that will ruin your day. That will just ruin enjoy day. it. Just forget about how much you've spent. Do what you want. Don't worry Don't about it. Don't tell them that because then they won't get into it. Get into vaping. It's not that expensive. Yeah, it's not that right. expensive to yeah. get into. Right. It's, it's, you pay, you're going to pay about £50, pound, 50 to no, £60. Not pound, even that. No, to get, to get a good vape. To and get a good one. Well, and, no, and a flavour. I spent £30 pound on mine. Well, a fl- well, £30 pound then, and a flavour. £35. £35. Pound. Right, and that's going to last you. Your, your actual mech mod or whatever you're going to buy is going to last you oh, years. I think we should put that together, a recommendation. Yeah, we will do. We'll put it in the description just below yeah. at the end of the video later on. So, um. Yeah, that's how I got into vaping. It's such, such a hobby and it's fantastic. Yeah. So um, um, I think we have a little bit of news now, don't we? We can either go to the news or we can... Or kit, what we've been using. Um, we'll do the kit because we have, I think, three minutes. No, we have a bit more. I think you could do 15 minutes worth of YouTube nowadays, so we'll do that. Um, yeah, so what are you using? Well, through my, da- my daily vaping, I've been using the Kangtex sub box and the... Uh, the sub box, the K box, and the sub tank. I've been using on a daily basis. Yeah, um, you also got it engraved, haven't you? I've I've got it engraved yet yeah, with my my name, Vapor Jace, which is on Twitter at Vapor Jace. And our spelled. slogan as well, haven't we on the uh, other side? Our, and our slogan is Vape On. So we will we'll probably use that as a hashtag. We will. So if you want to use hashtag, hashtag Vape On, even though it's quite a large hashtag, just do it anyway. Why not? Yeah. Vape on hashtag it all over the place. Oh. Um, yeah, so so that's what I'm using on a daily basis. And then throughout the evenings or when I've got spare time, I always take my case to work. And I use that's huge case. The Cherry Bomber mecha, uh, mechanical box mod with Plume Veil or me Patriot RDA. I've got so I've got three mech mods and I've got this one. Right, we haven't got much time, so I'll do it very quickly. We've both got the same one here of this. We have. But it's like a bloody truncheon. If you don't know what a truncheon <laughs> is in America or wherever you're bloody watching. Hawaii, it, maybe. Hawaii, I like maybe. Hawaii. Yeah. Um, so he likes America as well, also. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's a baton. Like you please, what you please batter you with. Don't take that. <laughs> <laughs> that's the end of that. Yeah, we'll have to edit um, that out. Yeah, it's like a baton. What police use? It's that, that is the new it's Aspire. That, it's, that's the new Aspire. It's the Elite Kit. This is the CX yeah. Max, isn't it? Yeah. The battery is the Aspire CF Max. CF. And the, um, yeah. the tank on it is... What's the tank on it? I haven't got a clue. I to be honest with you. Yeah. It's, I think it's... Um, it, yeah, forget it. Right. Forget that, okay. Yeah. So, I, about three weeks ago, won a competition online. Stuffy um, Bastard. Stuffy Bastard. I won it through a company called... Well, um, and basically, it is the Joytech Evic, Evic T, Evic T, Evic VT, yeah, VT. Um, nice little box mod with a temperature controlled Ego One Mega. Um, I haven't really used this tank on it specifically. I've been using the larger five mil Aspire Nautilus. No, it's not the Nautilus. Something like that. 
It's something like that. Something yeah. like that. I've been using that That's already because, because it goes up to 60 watts, so it's my perfect hit, really. Um, I have a few others. I have a Vamo V5 with a Mega Tank. Um, I have an RDA in my pocket, but I don't know if it's over there. Um, I have that in my pocket, so it's 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 good for me, really. Uh, we've we've been building up our stuff as we've been going along, really, haven't we? So it's just it's just an ongoing process, and we love it, really. Um, next, we want to just talk about a quick bit of news. Uh, so today, it, well, not today. It's now, the, it's like 20 to 12 at night on the 14th, yeah. on the 19th even. Um, Planet of the Vapes had a blog post put up on the 18th of June. It was written by somebody called Morsley. I don't know who that is. If, yeah. Um, and basically, it was titled, Department of Health confirmed no e cig ban in rest of the UK. Um, so basically, this is something that we've been really looking forward to. Um, just a quick quote from it. Cancer Research UK, British Health Foundation, Wales and Action Against Smoking and Health spoke out against the misguided plans while a Welsh Liberal Democrat <coughs> immediately formed an online petition to focus protest and hopefully prevent other examples of overregulation. Um, they say that the Welsh Lib Dems believe every decision taken by government should be based on a body of sound evidence. Welsh Labour's pr proposed ban on e-cigs in enclosed public places just doesn't meet that mark. We believe that completely because e-cigs have not been round for that long in comparison to cigarettes. Cigarettes have been round for hundreds, um, yeah, probably hundreds yeah, of years. Yeah, probably, yeah. Um, and you, we all know, else. we all know what comes from it. We all know it can cause cancer, formaldehyde buildup. Um, you, there's loads of stuff that can just happen to you. But vaping, we haven't found anything wrong with it so far. Um, we just recommend though that you buy the highest quality that you possibly can. Don't be going buying out five pound batteries because no. they just 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 buy for the quality because maybe more more expensive. You could pay you could pay ten pound for a single IMR battery and that's just gonna be shite. Excuse the language but it is just gonna be crap. So but pay, go out, basically pay, pay about twenty twenty five pounds for an IMR battery. Might that might be a little Samsung bit Sony IMR. Yeah. Something something like that. Just buy the best quality you can. Um, yeah. Uh, lastly, I think is just how to contact us. Um, we will be putting up a Facebook page, an yeah. Instagram page, yeah. and possibly a Pinterest. Don't know yet. Um, that's just work in progress, really. Um, but if you want to talk about how you can find us on Twitter and what we can talk about, yeah. Yeah, you can find us on Twitter at VapeGuysUK, or you can find us on our personal ones. Um, um, we'll put a link in the description. Yeah, we'll put um, a link um, in the description just below of our personal Twitters and you can PM us on that, ask us anything you want. Um, you can also email us um, at vapon ltd, LTD at hotmail.com. Um, send us send us some questions, send us something you'd like a review on before you're gonna buy it. Like all your juices. Just send us send us send us what you think is send us looking what you think. good. What, what uh, you think you want to buy, but you can't find a review on it. I have today as well spoken to someone from um, General's General's Juices, um, and somebody definitely rated, definitely rate Lemon Century. It's delicious. Um, and I asked if it was like a sherbet, and he said no. Just think lemon lemon custard or lemon drizzle cake. So I think that might be our next purchase possibly. Yeah. Yeah, um, so why not? We'll put a link just below here anyway. Um, please subscribe, comment, please leave comments, like, like us, and just give us give us some feedback. feedback. That's all we're asking for. That's what we're asking for. Just give us some feedback of how our first video is gone. So um, yeah, vape on guys, vape on guys.